lectures, homework, and exams. Saleo had a lot of us excited to graduate high school or college, but two students at the Elson Floyd College of Medicine in Spokane spent years looking for ways to go back to school. I think that with anything worth doing, it's going to be difficult. It's been a fun role to be in because uh, most of the other students don't have kids. You know, they, they were smarter than me and didn't decide to go to school with kids. But <laughs> <laughs> Ashlyn Jimenez and Michael Durant aren't your average medical students. They come to class with more life experience than most. But that experience is what drives them every day, and it's what inspired them to go into medicine. And now the two are learning a lesson that we all should. It's never too late to do what you love. KXY 4's Taylor Graham has a story you'll see only on KXY 4. On campus at the Elson S. Floyd College of Medicine. They're all just stunned at how close he came to dying. Sits a classroom that holds the future of the field, including two students who took their futures into their own hands with no regrets. I think that with anything worth doing, it's going to be difficult. If I could, uh, I would go to school forever, which I won't do. I'm going to have a job <laughs> one day. <laughs> they come into this classroom with more life experience than most of their classmates. I think that my time in Iraq definitely gave me that ability to kind of focus on things one thing at a time as opposed to you get overwhelmed when you see the big picture in medical school. Ashlyn Jimenez was with the Navy Reserves for about seven years and served in Iraq back in 2009 where she was a hospital corpsman. Being in Iraq I had the opportunity to interact with people from different cultures and different beliefs and things that I felt like walking in we're not going to have anything in common but medicine is kind of a common language between everybody. A common language the aspiring pediatrician shares with Michael Durant who's juggling schoolwork. What's it sound like? And parenthood. It's been a fun role to be in because uh, most of the other students don't have kids. You know, they, they were smarter than me and didn't decide to go to school with kids. But <laughs> okay. Once a chemist and physical therapist, the father of three is now looking towards a new career in physical medicine and rehab. I can look back and think of the names and the faces of the people that I was able to help as a, as a PT, and I can Im imagine the ones that I'm going to see in the future as a doctor. It's those experiences and the question of what if that keeps them coming back to class. My mom made a very good point. She's like, you know, I, I told her, I was like, I'm going to be 40 by the time I finish residency and fellowship and all those things that come along with it. And she's like, you're going to be 40 anyways. You might as well be 40 and a doctor doing what you love instead of 40 having the regrets and wishing that you would have taken the path even though it was more difficult. Because as they've learned these past two years in medical school, I, as somebody that's always wanted to go into medicine, can say that a bad day in medical school is still better than a good day doing anything else. It's never too late to do what you love. And when you love what you do with no regrets, the work is worth it. In Spokane, Taylor Graham, KXLY4 News.